Hi, this is Rod, your real estate guru. And the question for the day is, is your home ready for an open house? Let me tell you, a lot of homes weren't prepared correctly for an open house. Open houses, you know, when, when you're going to stage your home up, get it all prepared up and open it up for the public to walk through to look to see if they want to purchase your home. Well, there's a lot of prep work that needs to go into the open house prep preparation. So let's talk about a few things. First, of course, is decluttering your house. I think we all know that. You've got to declutter the house, create the concept of space. So you might want to even take some things out and put them in storage, just so you have more space in your home, less things to run into. That, that That's probably the simplest things we're going to be doing. Cleaning, decluttering, and creating the concept of space. So you're just making room for people to, to move about in this open house time when a bunch of people are going to walk through your home. Now let's talk about medications, something people don't really think about so often. So people that walk through your home, you don't know these people. Most of them are good, solid, wonderful people. Some of them, some of them aren't, though. Some of them, when they go into your bathroom, are going to look through your vanity. They're going to look through your vanity for medications and what might be there. Of course, you don't want this to be happening. And they may end up taking one or two pills that are obviously important to you and might even have street value. Well... People go through vanities all the time, unfortunately. I hate to say that, but it's true. You need to go through in prepping your house for an open house time and eliminate all of the important medications. I don't mean things like aspirin or, you know, Visine to get the red out of your eyes or something. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about, you know, prescription medications that are the important medications. And we, we can all identify those in our, in our own homes. Go through and take those things out. Go lock them up for the day somewhere else and cl just clean your house of them. That way, when people go in there and take a peek, they're just going to move on. Next is other valuables. You know, your pearl necklaces, your diamond earrings, your gold watches, your cufflinks, things like that that are that have obvious value. It might be in your bedroom, maybe in a top drawer that's real easy just to take a peek at. Again, just like the medications, you want to take those things out, out of the home and put them somewhere else that'll be safe for this open house period of time. So people are going to be walking through your home. They're going to be looking all over your home, and they're going to be looking at it in a way that you often don't look at your home. They are looking at it with a critical eye. Would I? Would I? Do I like that? What? What's this? What does this thing mean? And they can even get quite personal on things. So also things like guns. By the way, please lock, lock your guns up. Whether you're a Second Amendment person, like my wife and I are, or whoever, lock up your guns, pistols, any weaponry needs to be locked up because the people walking through may not respect it in the same way that you would appreciate it to be respected in. So when they walk through, if you have a nice pearly white carpet or just a nice carpet, you might want to put something down. You can, you can go and easily, for not much money, buy car these carpet cling-on lays. They're, it's like a, a thin plastic. You'll see it in the brand new homes because they don't want the, the carpet to be disturbed. Well, you're looking for some traffic to come through your home. So you probably want to cover the traffic, the traffic areas, stairwells, main traffic areas. And you also might want to have the realtor, if you're using one, or if you're selling for sale by owner, either way, you might want to get some booties for people to put over their shoes or on their feet so that they're walking through your house with some kind of a barrier from the outside dirt, sand, grit, things like that, that end up walking through the house. Believe me, after you have 50 people walk through your house, it's going to make a difference as to the, what it looks like at the end of the day. Your refrigerator, if it has wine in it, open bottle, open bottles of, of tequila, things like this. Again, just like the medications and, and, and the guns, 
you need to move this stuff away. Put it somewhere else. Lock it up somewhere for the most part. You're just simply removing an aspect that, that may cause trouble somewhere else down the road. Well, these are just a few items. I'm happy to discuss this with you. I'm happy to come through and review your home with you and make sure that your home, whether it's a for sale by owner or it's being represented, I'm happy to help you prepare your home for a perfect time of an open house so you can get the best value possible. I am Rod, your real, your real estate guru. Happy to help you. You can always find my channel and hopefully subscribe to it at your-realestateguru.com. 503-329-1249 if you want to call me. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.